how to create a Gantt chart using Mindomo. First of all, you should go on Mindomo's website and log into your account, or launch the desktop version. Click on Create and choose Gantt chart. Add tasks and subtasks. Use the buttons from the top left corner or use the keyboard shortcuts to ease your work. You can reorganize the existing tasks using the indent and outdent buttons from the context menu. Moreover, if you want to change the order of your tasks, you can hover over the number in front of the task to select it, then drag and drop it. Set a schedule for your tasks. There are two options, set a start date and an end date. The time scale will be automatically calculated in days and displayed in the duration tab. The second option is to set a start date and to add the duration. The end date will be automatically updated. Adjust the right side of the Gantt chart to see the taskbars that were automatically updated as well. For a better view, you can zoom in and out the Gantt chart using the bottom right buttons. Drag the line that separates the two parts to see more columns or to hide them. You can also adjust the column size. Expand and collapse the tasks. You can undo and redo any change using the buttons from the top left corner. Set milestones by simply checking the box. You will notice that the taskbar will turn into a diamond-shaped symbol. You can create connections between tasks. Hover over the taskbar, click on the dot and drag it towards another taskbar to create the relationship. On the left side of the Gantt chart you can set the completion level of your tasks. Write the percentage here. The taskbar will be automatically updated. Moreover, when you set the completion percentage of a subtask, the task's completion will be automatically calculated as well. An important step is to set priorities. On the next column of your Gantt chart, you can use a scale from very low to critical. Share your Gantt chart with collaborators. Write their email address. Check the notification settings and the rights you want that person to have. You can change them later. If you prefer more security, add a password to your Gantt chart. However, if you don't, you can change the link sharing settings and make your Gantt chart public on the web and anyone with the link can view or copy it. In the last column, you can assign tasks. These tasks can be assigned to a Mindomo user including yourself or to ghost users. To include more information, add notes to your tasks. The style, size, font and color of the notes are also customizable. You can also add comments to your tasks. Here you can see who created the task, if it's assigned to someone, start and end dates, you can vote for it, and you can copy the link to this task. In the comments you can also attach multimedia files from your computer, Google Drive, Dropbox or OneDrive. When you're done, you can print or export your Gantt chart. Select the format you prefer and click Export. Turn your Gantt chart into a mind map with one click. Or turn it into an outline. Then you can turn it back into a Gantt chart. Congratulations! You just learned how to create a Gantt chart using Mindomo. For more details about how to create other types of diagrams on Mindomo, check out our other videos and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep it smart, simple and creative and see you next time!